All right, guys. All right, guys. This should be fun. Hopefully a fun adventure indeed. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and go out and fly none other than the one, the only, the amazing. If only I could find the cable. Uh, Hubson Mini, Mini SE. And if I can find the cable, we can start up the camera, which would be nice. Which would help a lot, because we've got a lot of work to get done in between now and then. So wait, wait for it. Oh, okay, we've got some cool commercials in the back. Let's get rid of that. The Gladiator. The Gladiator is what we need here today. Um, if we could get this to run. Okay, start. Okay, we should be able to get this to run. And let's see what we can do here. We were having some issues with the remote this morning. And the remote was charged for some reason. It kept giving me the... Um, It keep giving me the what? What's going on here? Stop it, will ya? It's one of those days. It's one of those days. Zeno Mini SE. There's so many f to pick from. Yes, please pair the thing. How to pair devices? It's It should be paired. It should be paired at this point. It's on. Oh, it's not on, though. My fault. Now it should pair. Ah, forget it. Forget it. It's my fault. Now pair, will you? It's on. Come on, man. Come on, man. What you doing? It should totally... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's one of those mornings, guys. It's one of those mornings, but it is all my fault. And so I got to accept, I got to accept the responsibility of being at my fault and me messing up. So let's get this party started. Go away, go away. There we go. Go away, go away. Um, we'll put the drone here. Then we'll go pick up. Ah. How can we do this without destroying everything? It's going to be insanity. It's going to be insanity. Well, below you're going to see the cool Arma infraction. I love this uh, new build. And also it's tiny uh, child or whatever. The UDRC truck. So let me go get the stuff from the other side and we'll get it up and running. Let's get this going. Let's get it going, let's get it going, and we're going to need the remote control for this thing. The remote control be in the back, I think. It be. It be in the back. And then... And then what else do we have? We've got the cars and stuff. Get rid of this one real quick. It is tiny by comparison. It is just so incredibly tiny by comparison to the big and I might add amazing infraction infraction is the biggest vehicle that I've ever owned car wise I've never had anything that was eight scale so that was an impressive thing uh, let's make sure to turn on the remote first The remote should always go first, and it's got this little button over here. When you press it and you turn it, you'll notice a red light shining and blinding you. It is very, very nicely done. Then we've got the button over here that turns it on. And then unlike the two-wheel two -wheel drive cars, before you apply acceleration, you want to lift it off and check if you've got steering. We've got everything that we need. 
and we've definitely got that need, the need for speed. So we're gonna put this on here. One of the cool things that they really got right with this is that you can just plop it on. You don't have to worry about aligning those bits. Look at that. I just dumped it on there and it was fantastic right out of the gate. Usually you have to like line those things up and sometimes the clips will be difficult and stuff, but the clips on this are very nicely put together and also they're large. So even the big fingerly, fat fingerly man, manly hands um, find it quite easy to use with, use these. Even when you're trying to do it at a very awkward angle like what I'm doing here, this is not recommended. So anyway, we've got our stuff. Uh, we're gonna bring the drone out first. We're gonna aim it somewhere around here. And this would be a good way to start. Let's gimbal it up while we get the Arma ready. Man, imagine that. I'm going to be driving one of the coolest vehicles out there that's available today on the market. And I can't even make a joke anymore about it costing an Arma and a Lega because it is not that kind of vehicle it will not cost you an arma and a lega and it is beautiful so there we go let's get this up and running first we're gonna get the bird up in the air take off the home point has been then updated. we will do the usual be gimbal it down of the new return to home point and lift at the same time to save on time Then once it sees, sees it, we're kind of a little bit higher up than we usually are. And I'm thinking that this is going to have, um, that this is going to have an amazing, um, and no problem at all at, at tracking it because it is a very vibrant color there. We've got this beautiful green. And I'm not sure if it's the angle that it's not liking right now. It's not allowing me to trace or is it allowing me to trace? It's allowing me to trace. No problem. And then we go go and we've got her up. And that is beautiful. We can bring the drone down a little bit more. But remember by comparison, this thing is quite humongous. And so hopefully it should be able to stay in place and run well. So we're gonna give this Arma a little little go and let's see how well it tracks it. Let's give it a second to make sure that it's tracked it really well. And we can do a speed run on this because this car really rips. So let's go. Look at that. That was, that was impressive right there. This thing can really rip. And if the drone can keep up with this thing, Considering how fast it goes, that would be amazing. I'd try to do a little drift. This thing doesn't really drift. It is locked, locked tight on the ground like a Tesla would be. And looks like we've lost it for a second there. So the drone had it and now it is aiming at the car, but the wrong car. So let's go. So can can this amazing drone keep up with the Arma? We've noticed that it does, but it depends. It depends. It might be able to do a better job if we're a little bit higher up off the ground. And then we do this. Here we go. We should be able to do it really well. Let's get that Arma back in there and let's also make sure that this is recording because I will be very upset if it's not. Okay, it is. Seems like it's all hunky-dory. Hunky-dory indeed. Oh, because I went out, it went out of the active track. Back on active track and 
that is a misfire so we've got to do that one again now we've got it and it is a go ready steady let's let it rip this is a really 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 fast car so the fact that it is keeping up with it this well is quite unbelievable oh I, I was able to get a drift it was more like a power slide but um, it is really locked in oh but what the okay looks like that's it for the battery on the on the arma um, or I've lost range with it but maybe that's it for now or something else has happened. I'm gonna go check it out real quick. I still have steering, but no power. So that usually means the battery is probably dead. Um, but yeah, this is quite an impressive vehicle, as you guys have noticed. Um, and the drone was able to follow it every step of the way. So we're just gonna bring the arm back and see the drone can't see me I'm just gonna tell it to follow me as I bring this back so I don't have to come back out here again there we go the drone will come with me I don't have to worry about oh I do have to worry about my clumsiness uh oh. It looks like the remote is still okay. So the remote is still okay. The batteries are still okay. The car is still okay. Everything is still okay. Ugh. The drone is still okay. Plenty of battery there. We could have flown for a lot longer, but the battery just, I guess, ended. So we're going to put the drone down and find out what's going on with this situation here. Let's put the car down over here. Ugh. Almost wrecked the remote. Not my best moment. Um, so let's go the way that we need to go and down the drone. Okay. Let's tell it to land in place. Landing. There we go. It's going to land in place here and we're going to find out. Fantastic. We are now going to take a look and see what's going on inside the Arma. And we'll know. <clears throat> we'll be able to tell if there's something wrong. I don't think there is. I think the batteries just ran out. And that's just a common thing, right? You push your vehicle to its limits, you will run out of battery. Okay. So. A few rocks got in there. Clearly a few rocks got inside, but I don't think that would affect much at all. So, um, wow. Okay, we could turn it off for a second. Something happened in there. Not sure if you guys could see that, but when I was moving that around, the, the protective rubber moved out of place so that's weird. That did it again. It makes a really f f weird thing going on. Oh. Uh, there's a chance that a rock was obstructing something. Because now it suddenly has a newfound power. So that's something to worry about, I guess. Uh, 
I don't think it damaged anything, but maybe that was what was going on there. I do not know for sure. What we could try is, is to aim the... All right, we'll just put the body on like this without clipping it. And we'll just go for a spin and see if there's anything wrong. I guess there was a rock or something in there. It's always the rock. It's always the rock, right? Uh, anyway, it, there must have been something. It's making a fu funky sound. So a rock must have got somewhere in the motor or something, and it was blocking the... Um, blocking something, I don't know, which is why it just stopped running. So hopefully... Hopefully that means uh, no damage. Because now it's going just fine. Oh, it stopped again. Or it was just a battery thing. And then if you, if you throttle it too much, then you get that problem. Now it's just going like... I'm guessing maybe it's battery. So if you turn it off and turn it back on, you get uh, a bit of power. But that's it. I don't know. We're just gonna call it a day there. Um, we were able to follow it with the Hubson Xeno Mini SE. So that's a good thing. We'll lift the glorious body off this thing and there were more pebbles in there. So this thing is a, is a pebble collector. Um, never quite had an RC car that collected this much pebblage. Uh, but this one does, so just in case you didn't know, none of my other RC cars collects that much uh, pebblage, but this one does, so be warned. And um, I guess that's it, that's it. Turn it off, turn it back on. Pretty sure that it's just gonna be the same as it was before. We can move back with the drone and see if it'll, it'll just, come back because I just don't want to. it's a pretty heavy vehicle I don't particularly enjoy carrying it around but I guess the battery is okay now I just if you full throttle it for too much uh, I don't know if, if it was that or were stones in there we'll have to check at home with more care but at least it still runs It's not making that funky sound anymore. So I'm just gonna go with the problem was the battery is just running out, which is perfect because then I just go home, charge it and be back up and running again. So far, what do I think about this vehicle? I think it's fantastic. They've done some really good adjustments to this. Um, <clears throat> as I said before, the new latest and greatest um, remote. I love this new remote, it's great. You can fit the batteries that I've always wanted to fit in there. The EBLs, the EBLs fit in here, as you can see right there. Now I'm also going to show you um, the wrench. The wrench that it comes with is fantastic. It is no longer that horrible wrench they used to provide that was a plasticky piece of garbage. Um, they now provide you with a really fantastic wrench, and I will show you that in a second. I just got it from the car just got it from the car but it's definitely worth mentioning because um as i like to say and I explain a lot there are some companies that really put in the effort so this as you can see here look i'm not making it up um i'm not sure how well you can see i will show you in a different video as well but it should be able to show you that it says arma on there sadly it's not doing a very good job of that but that was the old one that came with the granite, granite voltage or whatever. Um, this is what you get. And you probably should be able to see Arma on this one as well. They are both Arma, but this one here is plasticky. Listen to the sound of that. That's nice metal, nice strong. And this is why this one, the first time I used it on the Arma to try to remove one of the tires, it broke immediately 
whilst this one i did this yesterday to try it out to see uh, um, it works fantastically well so good job on um good job on arma horizon hobby and spectrum and then working together because this is also a spectrum remote on fixing all of the bugs that i mentioned in the past and it looks like this version of their truck has none none of the bugs that the previous ones had that i was so incredibly annoyed about so with that said what do i think about this truck so far i think it is fantastic i will go home charge it up and can't wait to come and rip it around again so anyway with that said i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching guys and i'm wishing you guys a wonderful week happy monday <sighs> yay dreams do come true dreams do come true dreams do come true they do